uh, in continuation of the previous uh, uh, session part 1 for uh, the start up of the prince2 project i could draw some chart to give some clarity on the steps involved to start the prince2 project and in this chart we can see uh, you need to nominate the prince2 project executive and the pm they 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 all are there let us imagine it and prince to pm and executive for startup and you need to capture the previous lessons through them <coughs> and uh, design and allocate the project management team and uh, outlining the business case define project approach and team orientation and project initiation of course uh, prince to project board or project director directions will be there for these two roles like pm and executive of the prince to project let us imagine that and now let us move forward with the other areas so let us analyze the step one on the nomination of uh, prince to project executive and the pm if you see this, uh, most of the organizations, it depends on their internal dynamics and internal costing structure, budgeting structure, all these things. These roles can help. Uh, initially, the, if you recruit these two roles, they, these roles can help the organization to outline the project by following the Prince2 methodology. Basically, they might have the skills uh, on Prince2 methodology, assuming that, and uh, the executive might have worked uh, pr uh, program management office or project management office, where they had uh, Prince2 methodolo methodologies uh, followed it. And sometimes uh, both the roles can be equal, or he or she can be project executive and the PM also depends on the size of the project and the decision of the organization let us say if you have 10 or 20 people of the project uh, then obviously to save the cost uh, organization can impose uh, the pm to take care of the uh, project executive role also where pmo activities or tasks can be enforced to the project manager in many organizations they have pmo role based person or PMO unit where they support to the programs or projects as project executive. If you see large corporates, uh, they have program management office for each business unit or group of business units and there in that office there will be set up people, executives, PMO coordinators, PMO managers, PM or heading kind of thing organization can be there as a setup and those people know the methodologies of Prince2 project management methodologies and they also work for the other tasks like uh, project costing, budgeting, uh, invoicing, collection of the bills and uh, looking for the P&L like uh, profit and loss uh, measurement also. So in such cases, uh, there will be a PMO executive, there will be a project manager also, where project manager will work dedicatedly for the project activities. Now let us see the next step, uh, how to capture the previous lessons of the projects. Uh, the previous lessons of the similar projects can give like how the issues were handled earlier in the projects, in the past projects, how the risk mitigations were made and how their planning was done in each stage of the project. These are the data they are going to help the current project team by taking the past project's knowledge in each stage of the Prince2 project methodology. Most of the organizations uh, they might have a repository of the project uh, artifacts either through a configuration management uh, library SEM are in the form of a project archival see let us say you have if you have a big program management uh, maybe 3 million or more than 3 million project nowadays every program management office will have a web page portal where they will have all these kind of knowledge where uh, related to the project management activities tasks uh, and scheduling project plans and uh, lessons learned 
and uh, minutes of the meeting for each activity or uh, task review or milestones review such kind of things will be there and through that they can identify the past uh, knowledge where and consider that for the current projects uh, execution or managing or controlling it and uh, these are very important and critical for running the project also uh, let us see the fourth uh, paragraph these are very useful for running the retrospectives from the past projects if the similar projects have not been executed by the organization it is mandated to have external consultants to guide the team at least for one cycle of the delivery let us say if any organization is starting a new project using the prince2 methodology or if pm has not followed earlier prince2 methodology or any of the resources doesn't know that it is a major risk for the organization to run the project using prince2 methodology without having the knowledge where without having the past uh, pro projects lessons learned or repository and without having mm, the experienced people in such case you need to hire a external consultant who can guide the teams at least stage by stage to run the project successfully to deliver at the on time and uh, the risk uh, mitigations can be easily identified it can be taken care of during the project execution and also please remember prince to framework emphasizes to avoid the risks of failure to have these methods followed if something occurred it suddenly it means you have not mitigated the risks uh, using the prince to methodologies so these risks mitigation will be made easier by following these kind of practices and nobody can do a new technology or non technology project without having a support it means if it if they are the startup people in that practices obviously they need a senior people help and support also in running their regular operations now let us move forward with uh, next slides i made uh, next part uh, in the uh, in this session so you can look for that